waka waka waka. Let's get pretty and cool. Hey, welcome. You now the vibes. Welcome to my girl Pretty and Tune channel where she keeps you up to date with the hottest tea. Download keep you all tap in and shit. We stay lit on this channel so fuck with you and stay updated. She will have you laughing and emotional all at the same damn time. So let's get pretty in tune in this motherfucker you know the vibes. My bish, gone take, it from here, queen in this fish. Hey guys, waka waka waka. Let's get pretty in tune. No girl, I do curse up on this channel, okay? I'm trying not to curse as much. I be trying, y'all. I be trying to do a better move. So, if I slip up, hey, let me show you your girl some love. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, these was a couple of articles that I had came across that I want to just try to talk about. So, say ATL rapper Daz Dior. She always, I believe, like she is Jaden's um, cousin or friend, but they look just alike if they friends. Uh, father is set to go to trial. In a couple of weeks for allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl. And Stunner Girl and Sierra beef over copyright of goodies to eat. But let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's see what's the what's the like what's going on. Let's go see what's the tea. The so first we're gonna talk about our girl dad. Let me blow this up, yeah. It say ATL rapper Daz Dior father is set to go to trial in a couple of weeks for allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl. Family alleged that Daz attempted to evict them from her father's home. Let's see if we get, can you get more details. Um, it say 50, 51-year-old Darrell Bailey, the father of 25-year-old Atlanta rapper Destiny Bailey professionally known as Daz Dior, has been charged by the Henry County Sheriff's officers for allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl who lived with him. The mother of the victim told the North Carolina beat that Daz Dior was passive-aggressive in her apology to her daughter and attempting to kick them out of Darnell's home after her father was arrested. Wow. So I guess that's what they mean by the um, family alleged that dad's attempted to evict them from her father's home. That's some sad shit. Actually, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. If it's true. If it's true. Because they say allegedly. Um, I guess. Um, so I guess he was probably playing like stepfather or something. Stepdad. That's That's scary though, you know. Um, yeah, let's go read the comments. It said, I'm confused because why are you trying to stay in that man's house? I want to be no parts. We gone. We ain't even got to pack up for real. That's some real shit. Now, what she just said is the most real shit ever because it's almost like you just said that this man literally raped your daughter. Why would you want to stay somewhere that someone mishandled or, or raped or allegedly? Why would you want to stay up in the same house? That's right, because you would, you know, pack your shit and left 800, 800 you know what I'm saying, Minutes ago, like you ain't fit to waste no no time staying nowhere, especially after hearing that, because you don't want your daughter to still be be around any trauma, even the um, even the environment will bring back that trauma. So then someone says, "This crazy because if someone touched my child, I definitely wouldn't stay in their house." Yeah, so because why would you be still trying to stay somewhere? Someone mishandling you. That is kind of a huge red flag. Like, why do you want to stay somewhere and somebody supposedly rape your 14 year old daughter? Make it make sense. Then it say, I I never understand adults being attracted to children. On top of that, 
the violent ones shaking my head i pray the victim get therapy it should be paid for uh if he did do it it's very sickening like that is very sickening they're always with me y'all when i see grown but then that's just like when i be seeing like super older men look at little girls or or dating so like a 17 year old or an 18 year old it is fucking disgusting it's like hellfire um let's go see the clip What motivated me to like really pursue my career was my dad. Like, mm. I be sleeping on myself sometimes. Yeah. So like, mm -hmm. I always knew I could rap. Yeah. Like, I be rapping. I be playing with it, making like you know rap videos on Instagram and stuff. But yeah. my dad was like, No, you need to do this. You mm -hmm. need to do this. We gonna build a label. We gonna do this. We gonna get the paperwork. We gonna we gonna handle the business. Like we gonna yeah. do this. Like you, you gonna do it. And you're gonna get in the studio. You're gonna stay in the studio. And you're gonna rap. So. so oh, 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 that's yeah. sweet. So he motivated the fuck out of he you. He motivated the. It was That's he lit. wasn't taking no for an answer. That's like lit. it was just like, yeah. So That's is lit. he like a big like part of your like career? Like mm -hmm. he be involved, like he be listening Super to your involved. songs. He stuff? handles my merch, like oh, that's what's up. Ships my merch, yes. he keep all my music, anything I need, he handle it like he my right hand man, seriously. Period. 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 You gotta keep it in the family. Yeah, I love okay. that. Okay, I love yeah. that though. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. yeah. So um you're independent, right? Independent. Independent. Mm -hmm. So like do you honestly I feel like you know i've always been like in the line like media mm -hmm. all that type of stuff but what motivated me to like really pursue my career was my dad like mm -hmm. i'll be sleeping on myself sometimes yeah. so like mm -hmm. i always knew i could rap yeah. like, i'll be rapping i'll be playing with it making like you know rap videos on instagram and stuff but yeah. my dad was like no you need to do this you mm -hmm. need to do this we're gonna build a label we're gonna do this we're gonna get the paperwork we're gonna we're gonna handle the business like we're gonna yeah. do this like you're you gonna do it and you're gonna get in the studio and you're gonna stay in the studio and you're gonna rap so, so oh, oh, that's yeah. sweet so he motivated the fuck out of he you he motivated that's just her just saying a little clip and just showing, you know, the bond between her and being her dad. Kind of make you think, though, you know, because you got to take up in all aspects of being, uh, you know, in, into consideration. Normally when, like, like fathers are really overprotective of their daughters and don't play about their daughters and... I mean, I'm not saying if he did or he didn't, you know, because if it did happen, I don't, I don't want to try to write it off as like, you know, but I'm just saying most of the times men who have daughters and were actually protective and a support system to their daughters, a lot of times they don't be in that type of energy. But who knows, you know, we'll find out um, as this continue to unfold. Um, so let's go to the next story. So right now, Stunner Girl and Sierra is beefing, guys. Let me go pull it up, okay? Um, It says, rapper Stunner sample goodies by Sierra. She's upset that Sierra took down her song on YouTube for copyright and fragment. These artists act like they made the beat. So, <laughs> Stunner Girl is upset because, you know, like this is how, I don't know where she been or if she been living underneath a rock or something, but literally this is how the game go and mm -hmm. she should have knew just what B boosie just went through um and many of these other celebrities was you know had to um boosie just did this with um what's his name Rod Ray, something like that uh, about his his copyright um so basically you have to go to the person to get the beat clear you have to go to the artist to get the beat cleared or even pay some uh, uh, fees for, for using, using the beat. So I guess she, Sierra, because she didn't, you know, ask or get the copyrights clear, Sierra ran up taking her um, 
video of which they have every right. She actually sued her too as well for money. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let me go blow this up, y'all. So we can read what Stunner Girl is saying. So she is talking to Savory Babes. It's that it's giving you don't know anything about copyrights or, or the music industry if you are surprised. There are artists paying other artists for just using the same line in, in a song. I'm like, I, that's why I'm like, for her to be in the industry, how you not know that? And you in the industry. It's like, where have you been? Like, we see this every day, B. It say, Stunner said, not my problem. I pay the producer. He's the one who they should be emailing. Child. She must not know no better. Then, Sabri say, you hired a producer. It's all about accountability. Know who you're working with, which is true. You still have to. This is what I was saying. And when you have been in business, you need to have your hand up in everything because when push comes to shove, that's falls. It falls upon you and your money. <laughs> At the end, end of the day, these are just workers you hire, but you are the main. It's like you is the head, and it's like an uh, umbrella, and everyone else fall underneath you. So it's like when push comes to shove, they're gonna sue you, the artist. Um, Stunner says still has nothing to do with me. I ain't make the beat, so she like I ain't make the beat. <laughs> this is even worse, a child. Then Savior said, but it does because you didn't make sure your producer got the okay to use you said. You didn't make sure your producer got the okay to use, said B. I think she probably meant to use that B. In court, you will lose, and they can sue both of you. I'm not coming for you, but I will use this as a learning experience instead of being mad at Sierra. And I totally agree, like, you this as a learning experience don't be mad at sierra sierra's just doing what every artist is doing over their beats because if they didn't do this everyone would be using their beats and then they won't be getting paid and literally this is how they make money okay so hold on Then she said, I literally hate when producers use samples. These artists be acting like they made the beat. It's so many people that use that beat, but at Sierra Team, writing me saying she personally contact them about me. But anytime I don't use a beat that was sampled by a white artist, they didn't give a fuck. W like, Sierra got to make money for her music somehow, sis. Then it's not like she better go moonwalk, do some venues, and leave me the fuck alone. Then she like, the producer said that he took care of it, so I'm not in the wrong. My point still stands. All these beats are sample. That's not even a original beat. The only people who should really care should be the actual producer who made it. The artist should care when when they lyrics or voice is being used. Okay? Child then apparently So, so apparently say this video is no longer available due to copyright claims by Sierra. So Sierra pretty much claimed the beat. So because Sierra claimed that beat and that is her beat, 
Stunningberg can no longer use this. So it says, um, let's go read the um comments. It says she told her to moonwalk somewhere. She moonwalked right to your shit and took it down, LOL. Because you know, Sierra, she's a classy bitch, but she could still gonna stand up on principles. So that's why I was thinking it's like you shouldn't be giving nobody so many much attitude, especially if you need them. And that's something you might want to learn up in a business when you need someone or you want someone to do something it's all about tone and how you handle and respond to things if you would have came at her better like oh we i apologize sierra i did not know but you acting like you really running some shit this just made her take take the beat down even faster it said the way she's acting is the reason why sierra would never clear the song shaking my head wrong and strong exactly it's like you're not gonna get that song cleared now boo i'm sorry the way you handle her she this is a, a artist that has been in the business forever you still got to come in showing some respect for using her beat someone said sierra said not my goodies <laughs> then someone said the energy the attitude and the entitlement shaking my head no count of respect baby these be these young ones who ain't had to work for shit and they feel like they is just entitled 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 and she really do need to learn this to learn and to really expand if you want to network up in this business you're going to have to present to have to present yourself and be in such a more manner manner otherwise you're going to fumble it every fucking time and i know i would not have been talking like that especially if it was a hit song that i know i just made I would have definitely came at her very much more respectable and humble. Okay, um, y'all put up in the comments about how y'all feel about these topics. Okay, let your girl know. Um, Let your girl know about how y'all feel about this. Uh, what do y'all think about this up in the comments? Um, um, show your girl some love. You put the thumbs up. It really do help your girl get through the algorithm, y'all. Show your girl some love. Love, love, love. Please, please, please. We is begging for likes and shares over here, okay? Help your girl, girl grow from rock bottom on up. Up until next time, good people. You guys in the vibes stay um, pretty in tune. If you guys are looking to grow your business on um, your e commerce or blog or websites, check out this click video and the links will definitely be up in the description. Peace Welcome and love. To family. Take care. Mm -hmm. Agency. Today, we come to offer you with our latest system your number one choice for restaurant online order systems and live streaming video website. Fast setup and start receiving orders immediately. With everything that's going on right now start today. First let's talk about our restaurant's online order systems and what does it offer. Get your very own order system cut out the middleman like Grubhub and paying all those expensive fees, now you can hire more worker for pickup and delivery. Get your website up to date. Get notifications sent directly to you every time someone orders and our prices for this system you can't beat get up and running today. Not to mention our amazing live streaming video website. Continue to reach and engage with your customers through our live streaming platform. We will set everything up for you, and even teach you how to stream, and have it automatically appear on your streaming website. This is a perfect way to keep your business at the forefront of your customers' minds. You can even upload any video content, and even charge people to view it. Also known as memberships. Online store ordering systems. Sell anything online including products you currently have in your store. Our online store is loaded with functionality and focused on making the customer experience as easy as possible. Sell anything online, including products you currently have in your store. Our online store is loaded with functionality and focused on making the customer experience as easy as possible. Fast setup. Start receiving orders immediately. Get instant notification of orders. Take payments right in your online store. Also pay no monthly fees like Shopify and so many others. Increase your income right away. Customer focused. We build our sites and systems with your customer in mind, 
making sure it is very easy for them to use, and you too. So let's get you started and up and running today. Okay, guys, link up in the description. Take care, family. Like, 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 share, share, share.